Welcome back, Roadie Foodie fam. Lindsay is hungry, so I'll do the talking. Go right ahead. Uh, like, comment, share, subscribe. Got my uh, my free soda from Hot. yesterday's video. Uh, what was we after that? Did Express Panda? Oh, I brought. Because in Pawtucket, we just name things. There's a bread Panera in Pawtucket too. Did you know that? No, I'm just um. teasing. All right, guys. So we are at. This was uh, recommended from a live last night. <sighs> it is getting warm in here though. From a, house of pizza. from a house from a house last night from a live last night i think margaret was the one that recommended it this is house of pizza on division street hashtag local love there's two of them i think they told us there was two there's a Pawtucket house of pizza on smithfield, smithfield ab this one's on division uh there is still some debate on which one is better than the other we're getting did he just growl at us so there's uh there's a little debate so uh, I was told that I needed to get the roast beef, and then from Lindsay's boyfriend, he said, make sure you get it heavy on the mayo. He grew up in Pawtucket, so. So we got a, a good good right here. Let's go. Can this have eggplant? I don't know. That, that's a Google search. Great comment. Mm. Mm. The crisp on this eggplant is very good. I mean, it's not my grandma's, but... I'm good with it. This, this is a good bread. It is good bread. Lindsay's grandma makes this amazing dip that I've never had in my life. That is so proprietary. If you don't give me those chicken fingers. <laughs> so we're ordering food and I know exactly how much we're gonna eat. Lindsay goes, large. I'm like, and then she goes, side of chicken fingers. Now you have to eat all of this on camera. Can you have a chicken finger? It's too, it's like super fried. See, he cheated. Super fried. Taking out a roast beef though. Make of a sweet sour sauce? Good, baby. Wow. You dropped the ball on that though. Mm. I shouldn't give it enough honey mustard, but. I mean, that also, is good though. That is good. Yo, Ken's. Why is this half full? Recession is hitting the sauce market. For real. Chicken fingers are good though. Mm-hmm. Have a roast beef. I like that it's shredded. Unfortunately. We could kill the cow himself. Unfortunately, I'm probably gonna keep the other half. No! You have to have a bite. But I don't I don't want any eggplant. I it's not my fault. Everybody from that end, obviously. Good sweet sour sauce, though, Ken's, but you should fill it up. Why do I get that bite? Can you? I don't mean to be controlling, but can you put the sauce down <coughs> and take a bite before no bites will be given? Right, so, yeah. we tried when you guys go to these places and the outside sign has uh, like a faded pepsi or coca-cola sign that you know they just had forever oh wow you're gonna get it and when they go inside and they either have the the sticker red letters or the push in uh tab thing you know it's gonna be a bomb place man they're gonna be i mean there was like four dudes in the back not talking to anybody these guys were just all business they weren't like they were talking to each other as soon as i walked in i saw one of the guys in the back going like this I was, like, oh, I was like, that's what I want. I don't want someone back there playing around. I want someone back there doing straight business. You have the other half. I knew this was going to happen. That's why you should have got the steak and cheese. Because right now, that's all. It's got the mayo. It's got the veggies and everything in it. I called it. I'll spit on it. You'll still eat it. <laughs> all right. Guys, go ahead and Venmo me because uh, I don't have dinner now. I have to eat my dinner now. Oh my God, you're so dramatic. Wait, can we talk about? Yes. Go out well, if somebody goes, first of all, Lupe is my brother from another mother. Mm. He's not my significant other. That would be Justin. But somebody was like, yo, your girl, uh, 
gonna get me kicked out of my apartment because she's so loud. And I was like, when you see my face, you should always turn the volume down because I'm always yelling. It's cruel, man. I am loud. I've always been loud. Like, my whole life, I, like, popped out of the womb and they were like, all right, you loud. Yeah, and you're, but your dad is so, like, docile. And no, he's not, though. Yo. No. He said, yeah. He's like, heaven. I'm in heaven. There you go, baby. Um, my dad's not docile, though. He can be loud, too. Huh, kind of funny. You'd be more of that than the, ching than the egg my pump. I hope this falls near your car. You know why? You do this every time. It's because eggplant parm is, it's like bread on top of bread. You know what I mean? It's like it's breaded and then that. So it's a lot of bread. Mm. This happens to you every time I eat with you when you order that. And you always search other plates for auxiliary food. All right, remind me. I did. Remind me next time. And then what does she do? She gets more breaded things. Let me get chicken. How many chicken nooks have you eaten? Tenders. One. Don't say one. Oh, never mind. Here I did. Um, you know what though? Don't say it. What? I feel like it needs more sauce. It needs more sauce. Coming from an Italian. Yeah. Well, we're also very saucy. But also, the eggplant is fried very well. Can you get that piece for biscuit? No, this piece. Do you like tomatoes, right? I do love tomatoes. I was saving that for like the final bite. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna start holding auditions. What does that mean? Like, you know, like American Idol. Hey, brisket, we can split it. No, that's for him. We have more. I can't believe she just kept food from brisket. You're gonna be fine. You said that he was gaining too much weight. No, I didn't. Yeah, you did. No, I didn't. Yeah, you did. I would never body shame my son like that. Really? Because you did. I think you were talking about your cats. But on top of that. I am impressed with roast beef. Rody foodie. Auditions. No. Nope. If you don't want me to say it on camera, why not? <laughs> also, yeah. drop in the comments if you're offended that I speak with a mouthful of food. Or if you're offended that I just burped. And you, you can put it in our complaint department, which is right here. And then we safely put it away in a receptacle so mm -hmm. for, for saving purposes. Mm -hmm. You know what's funny is I don't know why this is how Mexican I am. I'm like, yo, you know what? This will take it to a different world too. Refried beans. That's very Mexican of you. With like some jalapenos. Then it, then it's a torta. <laughs> um. But this is good by itself. Well, it's funny that you said that because when I saw egg and pepper, it made me think of this egg sandwich that I used to get from the Puerto Rican bakery in um, Springfield, Mass. Oh. <gasps> oh. What's your name? It's literally called the Puerto Rican Bakery. And we gotta go. It's so good. I hope they made it to COVID. Look at him. He's so happy. He's a romantic dog. He doesn't kiss you straight on. He does the the the, the tilt lean. He just loves life, this dog. Well, good match for you. What'd you say? Good match for you. I'm like, that was nice. What do you mean? <laughs> now we have to try the other one now. I want to compare. The egg what? No, the other. The, uh, how, uh, house, oh. of, house of Pizza, right? Yeah, we're going to do that today. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, see how cans. <sighs> All right, guys, listen, next month, Lindsay I and I. Use more of that. <laughs> Lindsay and I are. Because I'm not, I'm not going to be in Rhode Island for the second half of February, but for the first half we're going to yes you uh, are the castles what 
can we talk about the subject matter at hand right now? We're no. going to a New Hampshire uh, ice castle. I've never been. Oh, I haven't either. I'm very excited. Yeah, I'm very excited. But you will be here at the end of February. <clears throat> because we're celebrating your birthday. The New Hampshire ice castles. I guess they also have what? They have like uh, tubing. <gasps> ow, ow. Yeah. Oh, I just talked too fast and my mouth cracked. Did you hear that? I love when Jesus comes down and saves me sometimes. Yo. <laughs> yeah, you know what? Brisket, go for it. Mm. Jesus said, I got you, fam. I'm wicked excited for the ice castles. And, um, hi, baby. I don't have any food for you. Sorry. Daddy ate it all. I know he's mean. Yeah, that's right. Look at him like that. Mm hmm. Oh man, I wish I had like, it's so much meat and bread right now. I wish I had a tomato to kind of cut into it. <laughs> it's like, you. it's like, I know the way that I eat. So when something falls, I know I'm saving it for a perfect bite at the end. But yeah, I don't know. Something happened. Anyways, ice castles, sledding. No, no, uh, tubing. <laughs> Yo, I'll, I'll be down for tubing. I've tubed before. It's mad fun. But I will say I'm a little, a little nervous to be walking on ice because, you know, I did break my ankle a couple years ago on ice. So. It's because they're a slippery girl. Very shady. Not really. Still be walking. Sign of a good meal. I know, you finished yours. I didn't. Well, technically I only got a half. I had a half of a half. I'm full now, though. Nope. Let me see your sandwich. We're doing it. <laughs> I should I should have held my ground. I knew it. We should have got two smalls with the chicken nuggets, with the tenders. We sh I knew it. But I'm happy we did it because then we would have gotten less roast beef. And I think the roast beef was better. I'll take the eggplant home. I'll put it in my sauce on it. Put it in the, the, the thing. Toast it up. It'll be good. Nope. A little bit more sauce. Never as good as when you get it from the from the place. What you think, brisket? Yeah, he agrees with me. He says you're right, Titi. Moving forward. <laughs> First of all, you can't control what I order. <laughs> you're right. Please don't compare me to other <coughs> other meal, <laughs> other meals you've had. Dead ass though. I had an ex that I I'll never forget. Do you remember Fire and Ice? I did a New Year's Eve party there. Oh, the Fire Nights that was always getting shut down. That <laughs> was like. Well, this is when they first opened. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. So we used to go there because Monday night was college night. So me and um, my roommate <laughs> would go like all the time. And <laughs> one night I was dating this kid and he's like, oh, what'd you eat? And I was like, oh, like blah, blah, blah. He's like, don't you think the pasta was unnecessary? Oh. Hold on. And I said. Don't you think your presence in my life is unnecessary? <laughs> I had to make that really dramatic. So I was like, it's going to be a hard no for me. That did not work out. Well, uh, and I appreciate you bringing that up because you're giving contrast to our dynamic here. And I just know that as we get older, mm -hmm. we just don't eat as much as we used to. So those two smalls and the tenders, I think, would have been perfect. Right now, we have, I mean, we have two leftover meals. I mean, I meals. refuse to say that you're right because I will never of admit course, that. Of course, of course, of um, course. Seems to be standard lately. Um, and damn. so, but at the same time, hey, it's a different dynamic because this is a set meal, whereas Fire and Ice was all you can eat. It was mm -hmm. a buffet. Yeah. Whatever. Get the pasta. Yeah. Brisket wants pasta. So yeah, so I'm sorry that uh, that a male did that. Yeah, I shut that down real quick. I was like, I'm sorry. Do you know who I am? <laughs> About to tell me what my what food is necessary and what's not. I also I will, I will literally murk you. I don't. <laughs> uh, I also uh, I don't think I could have handled college you. <laughs> to be honest, I think I needed the. This. I think I needed this. <laughs> Yo. You were like waiting for me to say certain words, and I was like, I'm not gonna say them. Yo, in college, all right, they used to do these bus trips. 
To the now, casinos or to the, to no, the clubs? No, to the clubs. Yeah, yeah. They would do these bus trips. But, like, I just want to let you know, like, what kind of girl I was, like, in college on these bus trips. There's this picture of me. I would straight. My hair was wicked long. It was, like, down my butt almost in college. It was straightened with the Snooky Puff because, you know, that was, like, the vibe. And I would wear, like, a bright colored bra with just like a lace like long sleeve shirt over it that was me like i was going to a rave but i wasn't um yeah yeah i've seen a lot of those and i gotta give uh girls in college credit when we used to throw college parties uh clubs they uh you guys were in the middle of winter wearing nothing yeah because hoes don't get cold can i say that um well, cardi b coined that <laughs> <laughs> she did that's what no, she said I, I think it's okay to say let's just not celebrate it Okay, and it's so funny though because there's memes all the time that's like college you like I'm not cold or like I don't need to and it's like now like at home like sitting there you need like 900 blankets I'm like yo I would like be like in stilettos a mini skirt and like a tube top in college and it would be like below zero and I'd be like I'm fine it's the liquor it'll heat me up it's the whole bottle of Bacardi green apple that I just took to the face and she was 21 plus drink responsibly <laughs> um <clears throat> Yeah, no, I did I, not drink responsibly. <laughs> Stop it. Metaphorically, you should though. You <laughs> yeah. should though. Um, no, it's true. I mean, you know, when you're younger, you can drink a little bit more and you can hang out outside. Like I never smoked cigarettes, mm. but I, would, I was never a cigarette. Smoker. But I would go out and like hang out because it's usually like the staff going out, and it would be freezing outside, but we wouldn't feel it because you've had a couple of uh, grandpa's sodas, you know? Yeah. No, it's definitely true. I mean, liquor definitely like warms you up from the inside out like yeah. i'm not saying that it's healthy it's definitely not but i feel like that definitely had something to do with it well and like when i was in college like especially when it's like house parties whatever you were like shoulder to shoulder like on top of people sweating. like sweating so like when you went outside it was like relief i'm gonna tell you we're gonna end this video with this last story we had a party idea right Maybe you and like, i no 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 i'm like snuggies this was such a that was a fun party this was such a fun party until, I'm going to tell you what it is. We had a whipped cream party. And it was so much fun. That is such a dude college thing. Let's do a job party. But it was at a, yeah, but, frats. Yeah, but it was at a club. <laughs> it was the whipped cream party. And we bought, <clears throat> we bought all this whipped cream from uh, Restaurant Depot. Cases. What do you wear to a whipped cream party? Most of us were all white. But what sucked is like if you were trying to get at someone, you would get ten people and you just. Cr but here's the thing. <clears throat> <clears throat> After you're doing the whipped cream, you get the great photos. This is a great rager, right? You're sticky as hell. Beyond that, you smell. The cream starts to cream. The place starts getting warmer because everyone's dancing, and now that whipped cream is no longer cold. It it's is just. Thick. Did it really smell? It was the worst. Uh, yeah. But mm -hmm. for the first, I'd say like 15 minutes when the like the fun crowd got there, it was a lot of fun. But I don't recommend whipped cream parties. Mm. Unless you live like in Alaska or something. But that was one of them. We always did a stoplight party. You know, I think everyone does that, right? I don't know what that is. You wear red if you're taken. Green if you're single. And yellow if you're like you're it's complicated <laughs> you were always yellow <laughs> from what I see on, Yo, on your before Facebook. Justin <laughs> I was always <laughs> yellow I just lived my life in the yellow zone you know what though that sounds like fun my favorite was an ABC party though in yeah, college anything but clothes yo yeah. I okay so someone always did duct tape Oh, the girls, I was going to say, I duct taped two of my girlfriends in, and then like, they were like, I can't pee. And I was like, well, that sounds like a you problem. Do you know what I did though? I was so innovative. So I worked at D'Angelo for like literally all high school, all through college, like whatever. So I took, sorry guys, took a bunch of D'Angelo bags. And when you got like those like chicken Caesar wraps or whatever, and you put um, like the foil bags, mm -hmm. you know, you know what I'm talking mm -hmm. about? Like whatever. I used the foil bags and I made a corset. Like, I made, like, a whole, like, corset, and then I used the D'Angelo bags as, like, a skirt, so it, like, came out, like, like the skirt thing, whatever. I made a full outfit. I was an innovative queen. Right now, the team at D'Angelo's is, like, I don't know why I said it that way. D'Angelo's. Uh, D'Angelo's is going, that's why uh, the product was a little more expensive that month. <laughs>
Lindsay's over here dressing her whole her whole college <laughs> and D'Angelo. Well, bags. Col my college self was like half the size I am now, so it's fine. Well, I'm talking about uh, less like all the girls. That no, it was just me. It was I just That's... took it for me. Oh, okay. No, 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 okay. It was just I for thought me. you said the whole girls. Okay. Mm -mm. No, the girls did. Um, my best friend Gianna did um, cheetah duct tape, and then um, my roommate at the time she did purple duct tape. But actually, our other roommate, because there was five girls in a house, um, she she was so, so little, so she could do this. She had, like, an Italian flag on her wall, so she literally just took the flag off and tied it, like, as a bandeau. And I was like, okay, well, that'll fit, like, one of my butt cheeks. So, like, I can't do that. <clears throat> you know what we should do? We had a house. We should. I'll tell you. We, we should. We should re-throw those. Uh, yo, I would do parties. an ABC party. It'd be so lit, and then you get all the kids that'd be like, oh my god, this is such a great idea, we invented this. It'd be like, nah, we've been doing this, we stay doing this. Dude, like you've seen the movie Old School? Yeah. That's us, we're Frank the Tank. Oh, and sad. <laughs> oh no, that's so sad. <coughs> what, because we're older? Yeah. Oh. But if we do those we with some of us who still have a little gas in the tank before we're before we pack it up, I think that would be fun. I can't remember what other parts. Uh, I don't want to say the H word again, but there was... Uh, uh, boats and... Yeah, boats and that. Um, there's also... you. Oh, my God. You could do, like, an Ooh, anything party. You could literally, like, theme parties or, like, especially, like, a Greek. Do you guys ever do handcuff parties? No. So, we used to do handcuff parties. and That's there was, my nightmare. And there's two ways to do it. You handcuff to a friend and you're together all night. Or what you can do. Imagine if I was handcuffed no, to this it, guy. Well, here's, Yo, well, here's the thing. Be, hold on, hold on. Like someone gave me a key immediately. Well, here's the thing. And then <laughs> you give random keys to everybody. So it makes you talk to people. So you have to go to like another set of people. They would have two keys and you would try it. Oh, that and sounds like a that sounds like a speed dating thing. There are a lot of yeah. people that have done speed dating. That's like a lock and key party, like yeah. whatever. That's, that's cool. what it's called. The lock, lock and key, key party. party. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I never because I didn't throw parties like you did for like like I just like threw bangers in college. We like, literally we had the party house. We had I to come up. Shocking. We had to come up with a freaking idea every week, dude. That was that was. Too bad you weren't friends with me though, because I had the ideas. Actually, what, it's so funny. That night that I'm talking about, the specific club night, we went to Monet. R.I.P. <laughs> if you know Monet, you know it's lit. Our roommate at the time was dating this kid who's a rapper. <laughs> Stop the story right now. <laughs> and um, so at Monet, there were, like, things in the crowd, like, that, like, there was, like, a stage, but then there were, like, things in the crowd so they could, like, be up, like, still, like, kind of on a platform, like, in the middle of the yeah, crowd. Like, for go -go dancers, yeah, for yeah. go-go dancers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, there were no go-go dancers on there. Like, the artist or whatever would, like, move over there. So we had a table, whatever. This girl was not somebody that should be dating a rapper because or dating a... I don't want to say I want to be rapper because I like him and he's super nice. You know what I mean? But like, you know, you're going to get like attention, whatever. So, you know, he was on stage and then he was going on the go-go things and other girls were climbing up there and um, what's it called? And like dancing on him and she was all upset. And have you guys seen the meme? That's like when you hear in the corner, like, what did you say from your friend? And then yeah. like the friend be like, oh. Yeah, yeah. I was the deflated friend because this girl was so upset and she was like, and you knew she wasn't going to do anything at all. And I was like, oh God, now I got to do something. <laughs> like, so I literally yeah. had to like jump on stage and butt bump these, these yeah, yeah, yeah. off the these stage. Bees, yeah. And that was, that was that night. And I got a lot of butt to be bumping. So I think one of our defaults. <laughs> Which I feel like we did almost every other month was a foam party. That was easy. Yeah, um, everybody loved a foam party. But you know, you glow know, stick party. We would just we mm -hmm. would go to like, we would order s thousands of pieces of glow sticks from Amazon. Glow stick parties, though, when you, I feel like that came with another territory when you got toward like the glow stick, like neon, like ravey. Yeah. It kind of morphed into a different crowd. Well, we, yeah, a little bit, but we, like, we would get the, you know, when you go to Water Fire and there's the guys that have, like, the crowns and the... Oh, yeah, that's dope. And, you know, they make things out of them. Mm. We, that's how creative we got with those. Mm. All right, guys, so, um... These it's a are long video. I wasn't rushing you today. Old school. Old school. A Jello party was fun, though. I can understand, yeah, like... Jello party was nice. We used to do Jello wrestling. 
of course, obviously, yeah, you got a pool, you put, you know, you put These two people, hot chicks in there. Uh, no, we put dudes in there too. Really? Uh, we gotta do it for the ladies. I was an eco opportunity to party here. Whatever, like. No one ever put dudes in a jello oh, pit for me. Oh, come on. You guys are the reason everybody comes out. I gotta give you guys a little something. Yeah. Damn. And people would wrestle to death for a hundred bucks. You put me in the ring or for, for a, free. Or for <laughs> a free shot. It was crazy. I was like, these. Wrestle or fight? Because, like. It was like, it was definitely. You know what happens? Somebody, the girls, somebody I gets hate hit. How girls fight. I hate how girls fight. Some girl would get hit accidentally, and then that would just trigger everything. And yes, out of the two sexes, it was the women that were the most of course. vicious. Of course, always. And ferocious, and women are vicious. Yeah. It's funny though because like you would like people would think like obviously I have very long nails. Like I would not or. I have it depends who you are I think I have long nails I don't think these are very long nails but yeah. some people are like oh my god whatever like I'll tell you why I can mm. still throw these hands okay That's... real well like comment share subscribe guys when we talk <laughs> we hit our wall <laughs> literally <clears throat> uh, like comment share subscribe uh, let us know what other places we see here in the great state of Rhode Island we uh, oh, why you got this like right in my face we're like, cool. you, that's, that's usually where brisket is that's why he likes the window down so when it's freezing I have to pump the heat on him so he can enjoy it I'm a good dad um, uh, but if you come over I'm not putting it on the heat just to let you know um, <clears throat> it's expensive man things have doubled I was looking at my uh my thing, I'm my low. little my little kilowatt thing, mm -hmm. robbery. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. Uh, Imagine the people that have oil. Yeah. Like my poor grandma. Yeah. Ninety four. You have to dilute it. Throw some one fifty one or something. You there. cannot do that. Oh, I'm you not can't trying do to that? have. No. Uh, you definitely cannot I don't, do that. I don't know. Yeah, does no. she have a fireplace? Mm -mm. Well, she does, but she never uses it. I mean, she's ninety four. Yeah. She's not there stoking the fire. She got like she's wearing hoodies and blankets and stuff all the time yeah. too. Yeah, that's that's how I know I'm getting older because I'm starting to bundle up more. When you're always cold, and old people are always cold. I uh, isn't it because of poor blood circulation? Like your blood circulation. Uh, I don't need to know that. No, because but isn't that as go, you get older, your blood circulation isn't yeah. like as good or whatever? Now I'm gonna thank you. There goes my day. Now I'm gonna what? be on WebMD. <laughs> It's gonna be like never are you, are you go ever, on WebMD, are, dude. Are you cold? Cancer. Oh, great. Never go on WebMD. That's Why? the worst they idea the, because you're always dying. No, no, no. That's the most trusted. So is Wikipedia. <laughs> we could, actually, Wikipedia is pretty on point. Wikipedia is not accepted in a research paper, in like legitimate research. No, no, no. Or well, even high school papers, you can't use no, Wikipedia. Hold on, hold on, because I am an avid supporter of Wikipedia. Yes, you can't use the Wikipedia as a source. You have to go to their sources that they provide for you on the bottom. Yeah, but and I also do your own research. Yeah, but I also don't like how sometimes like people can edit Wikipedia and then like they put like some BS in there. I've actually never done that, but I know people have. Yeah, but it's also it's so minute that it doesn't get rectified. I mean, I use Wikipedia. Don't get me wrong, but also, guys. Throw Wikipedia a couple dollars, man. No. I don't want. I don't want to see a Nike advertisement in the future. What do you mean? What do you mean? They they're a foundation. So if they don't like, they're one hundred percent donation based. Oh. So they've tried for like they might have to in a few years start selling ad space on it to keep it going, but you never want that because then the advertisers have. A little say in what you do or what you don't do or they can pull their funding and then there goes your whole website after you've hired 20 developers and mm -hmm. you see what i'm saying yeah i got you what's that on your keys so that clear thing <clears throat> oh jimmy christmas you just blinded like, me comment share subscribe join us on youtube membership guys and be well eat well and take care of each other oh god